Hey guys, Dr. Ray Marquez here at Back Pain Relief Center. We have Mark with us today. Um, Mark is fighting. <laughs> he waited to go to the other side. So he can't see it. <laughs> um, and we're dealing with some chronic low back pain. Um, it's kind of been ongoing. He works really hard. I wish he wouldn't work as hard as he does sometimes. But um, we're going to stretch him out, use some of our instruments on him. As you can see, he's a big guy. So um, he's one of my more extreme cases because he, he's a lot to deal with. But even if you're big, we can work on you. Uh, first, we're going to use one of our instruments. And what we do is we'll kind of vibrate each one of these joints. Because what happens when you work hard, these joints become dysfunctional. It can build up some scar tissue or adhesions around them in the joint and in the muscles. And they stop them from working right. And it puts pressure on the disc, on the nerves, and kind of snowballs into this big problem. Next, we're going to use this uh, industrial size massager. And it's not because he's really big, it's just because I want to loosen these muscles up. Because we're going to do some soft tissue or myofascial work on them. It'll make it a little easier. All right, Mark, so I'm going to bend your leg. And we're going to stretch. So, what I'm doing now, we're not doing anything with his knee. Uh, I'm putting some pressure with my thumb on some of the trigger points or spasms in his back. And then we're kind of rotating his leg in. Help loosen it up. So we're going to reduce that tone in the muscles, allow us for better manipulation, and it takes that tightness or that pressure off. Now Mark's got a lot of stuff going on. He's got a degenerated back from years of hard work, and a, and a bunch of other things, and he's got a little bit of spinal stenosis in there. He's got some herniations, and what we're doing is helping him manage this pain by uh, reducing as much of the compression as we can. So any of you out there that have um, multiple herniations or spinal stenosis or spondylosis or all these other things, doesn't mean that we can't help. We may not be able to fix it, but we can manage it. All right, so you can see how it barely fits on the table. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Next, we're gonna do some stretches. And what I'm doing is stretching his legs and his hips because they attach to the pelvis and if we have some dysfunction in the pelvis, it'll make the lumbars misalign, not work right, and then cause some pain. Okay, we're gonna switch to the other side. And this is pretty good for a big guy, man. There's a lot of people half his size. When I say big, he's just tall and big. A lot of guys don't have this range of motion. I think Mark's range of motion is better than mine. So with Mark, I don't put him on, on his sides like you see a lot of my manipulations. Sometimes when you have herniations and, and some spinal stenosis, that twisting can aggravate it. So for him, with our lumbar adjustments, we, we do an adjustment called an anterior where I'm going to kind of lay him back and manipulate that little back. Pinch him down, get together, come on back. Good. Out of that time, huh? Yeah. And then we got up easily, so that's a bonus in it itself. <laughs> Sometimes it hurts my back. Yes. All right, guys. Save your back. Yeah. He did save my back today. Um, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, make sure you visit us, visit us on Facebook. If you're in South Carolina, it's MyrtleBeachWalkInCairo.com. If you're in New Jersey, it's BackPainRC.com. Have a great day.